How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another subscriber car roast. You guys absolutely love these. These are really fun for me too because I just get to let loose and just pretty much just like impulsively say what the hell comes to my mind when I see these cars. Listen, just because I say something a little mean or a little offensive doesn't mean I mean it. I'm just saying stuff to try to entertain you guys. It's just entertainment. So don't get offended. And if you do want to see your car in one of these videos, hit that like button and send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. And it'll hopefully end up in one of these videos. Anyways, guys, as you can see, I'm wearing the new merch. I finally got mine. Uh, a lot of you guys got yours sooner than mine, which is amazing. That's cool to see that they are pumping them out really quick. But uh, one thing I really recommend ordering at least one size bigger because they seem to fit pretty slim. I'm normally a large and I ordered an XL and it fits me like a large. So I would order one size bigger. Uh, let me know how you guys like it. Link in description down below. Use discount code SAVE. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right in. Also, if you missed yesterday's video, go check it out. We got our hands on a 570 GT and it was a lot of fun. I really just tore it up with the car. Check it out. Uh, I'll link that one down below as well. But let's dive right in. All right, starting out with a 2012 Mustang GT, the old Gen 1 Coyote. You would think after 10 years of this car being, you know, owned by somebody that it would look cooler than this. Sadly, not. Someone put some fake rear quarter panel vents on this one and underneath the hood, just an intake manifold and an intake. Really, 10 years and this is the best you guys can do? Actually scratch that. It's just a California special, so that's a bone stock. I have a feeling this guy tinted his taillights so the crowd won't see him coming when he spins out and throws his rear end right into their faces. Either that or he just really wants to get rear-ended on the road. Look, you might like getting rear-ended on your spare time, but I'm sure your car doesn't. Most Mustang owners do, and I'm not talking from experience. And of course, to top it off, he gave me his crank horsepower number, as if anybody gives a shit about crank horsepower. 475 crank, nobody gives a shit. Wheel horsepower or get the fuck out. Great, another Mustang with an asterisk because we can't even call this one an actual Mustang because it's missing four fucking cylinders. We got an EcoBoost. Somebody is stupid enough to modify an EcoBoost. I mean, there's a whole fucking cult following of people doing that. I don't know why, but it exists. This guy saved on buying a 5.0 to buy the EcoBoost just to try to make it look like a 5.0. We got the GT350 style wing. One thing you'll never see an EcoBoost owner do is pop their hood and show you what they're rocking underneath it. Because the moment everyone sees it is an EcoBoost, they turn around and walk away. They don't even care. This guy's flaunting a 400 horsepower number. So even with everything he's done to this piece of shit, he can still barely keep up with an actual 5.0. I bet you feel really dumb after wasting five grand or so. And one can only imagine how bad this car truly sounds. Do yourself a favor, trade it in, go get a 5.0. What's worst, a Civic or an EcoBoost? We're gonna find out right now. This Civic is from Virginia. Drop the IA and you got a description of the owner. Pins on a stock hood already letting me know that you have less IQ than horsepower. Average IQ, just for those asking, is between 85 and 115, and this car is probably lucky to see 75 wheel. Super sick race car, bro. You're just showing me all of your car's imperfections. Like, these styles of photos look good on decent looking cars, not 90s pieces of shit. Then you took this photo to try to show off your decent fitment, and there's plenty of gap for you to fit your two inch willy in there and get yourself the most action you'll probably ever see, at least while owning this car. Now I'm just confused. Is this a 90s shitbox or Austin Powers fucking mobile? Somebody already came up on your radio. They should have just done you a favor and stole the whole fucking car. I guarantee when people ask what kind of car this guy drives, he does say a Civic, but he definitely lets them know that it is in fact a manual because that is the only redeeming quality of this whole car. Why'd you cut two giant holes in your bumper as well? The stock D series does not need any more airflow and your radiator doesn't even stretch all the way across. And it looks like Michael J. Fox went to town with a fucking kitchen knife in there. This car's seen enough. Let's move on. 84 Z28, a car I actually want to build. However, if I wanted a fucking monster truck, I would have just bought a Silverado instead of buying one of these. Holy shit. Dude, at this point, I don't even care. Fucking cut your springs, man. Just make this thing sit a little bit better. Like we already know based on the car that you probably don't have that much money and no problem with that, man. We all got to start somewhere, but you ain't going to pull no baddies driving around in a monster truck Z28. We got a Focus ST, Boltons, air suspension. Kinda contradictory right there, buddy. Pick a side. I kinda wanna go faster, but I kinda wanna look cool at car meets, and I kinda just wanna sit there parked, but I kinda wanna go faster at the same time. At least he's off-roading with his air suspension. He can just air it up all the way and just 
go right on off road. Like at this point, the build just feels lazy. The wheels are bland. There's no like appearance package on the car. It just looks stock. Like you got to do something to change it up to let people know that this is a sports car. So they don't think you're just like every other Karen going to Walmart every week. Cause honestly, it just looks like regular ass traffic. Now this is regular ass traffic with a leaky top. For those of you that don't know, Honda Fits are notorious for having leaks. They are just pieces of shit. And this guy takes photos like a piece of shit. Like, I mean, I've, I I could see that his panels don't match really. Like the one, they look super sun faded or he's got some restoration work done to the rear end, but uh, like three different colors of red right there. And when you get up close, it doesn't look much better. We could see the fart can to let everybody know that uh, this guy is in fact an asshole and annoys the shit out of everyone. He probably also has way too much time on his hands because uh, He's in a parking garage by himself taking photos of a Honda Fit. Let that sink in. Like at least if he had like three or four Honda Fits with him, he'd be like, all right, cool. This guy's got some homies. He's a solo duck. Ain't nobody else around him. For obvious reason, he drives a Honda Fit. Does his banner say Sheesh Hunters? Oh my God. Well, at least it doesn't say Speed Hunters because we know that ain't fucking happening. Sheesh Hunters. I guarantee nobody has ever seen this car and said Sheesh. Nobody's been like, dude sick honda fit nobody i'd have a better chance of getting compliments in my mom's chevy bolt than this thing at least that thing's got torque this thing's got a shitty auto zone intake and uh that's it honestly i'm proud of you for not wasting your money on this thing it shows you have some restraint you gonna send in a picture of your incomplete car and think that that's just gonna float with me just because you have a black frs doesn't mean that you can get away with not painting your body kit how original a pandem frs i've never seen one of those before before how original it's on air suspension never seen that done before i don't even know if it's on air suspension actually i'm just guessing nope it's on coils i mean you can kind of tell because i mean his ride height's dog shit mommy and daddy stopped sponsoring the build eh like the pandem kit looks cool for the first like 20 cars you see done with it and then after you're past like 250 you're like eh, been there done that drop it down lower no balls do it do it then you can be like all those other cool static boys scraping and destroying their car because that's what's cool it's a brain dead nitwit a drop top audi tt with a bandana tied to it now we're playing with our cars like they're barbies eh what's next you're gonna put some nail polish on your car Maybe a tramp stamp sticker, just like Sally from Cars or a wig. Get the clothing articles off of the car. So there were two bad decisions made here, okay? The Audi TT plus the convertible. Both horrible decisions. The poor man's R8. I know the modern day Audi TT is pretty nutty. This thing, this nail salon car, glorified VW bug, not buying it. Nah. -uh. And you also have the smallest car in the parking lot and still could not put it into a goddamn parking spot. This is the type of guy in bed to say, is it in? Is it in? You just can't tell it's in because it's so small. What's the least masculine, okay? The Audi TT or the Mini Cooper? <sighs> Battle of the tampons, am I right? I don't even need to roast it now. We just got, <laughs> we just got to watch it be built. We just got to take a look at it. Oh my God, the Kraken Mini. The only thing we're cracking is jokes at your car, buddy, because you voluntarily drive this thing around for everyone to look at. Oh no, that is disgusting. That is a fucking atrocity right there don't do this this is so stupid it has to be one of the most uncomfortable things ever to drive around in in what essentially is a fucking daily driver like if you have a tesla plaid and it comes like that whatever if you have a hyper car and it comes like that whatever it's a hyper car the mini cooper the mini cooper with the kraken stickers on it yeah it doesn't need the 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 the, the crazy spaceship wheel it doesn't need that oh my god and he's got the mood lighting in there that's pretty cool actually i kind of like this although who the fuck needs gauges in the passenger seat nobody nobody needs gauges there all they're gonna see is how slow they're actually fucking going oh damn we're only hitting 45 right here fuck we've been in this fucking pole for about three seconds this is crazy <laughs> we haven't had an infinity yet surprisingly they're all too busy at takeovers destroying their cars this one looks partially destroyed, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, this 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 hood does not fit. Said he did a front end swap. Go get your money back because that shit don't fit. Those are the ugliest fucking tail lights I think I've ever seen on an Infinity. Stock, 10 times better. This chrome Euro ricer shit from the early 2000s. Like this is the shit. I'm going to Google ricer and it's going to pop up. See that? See that? See that? Do I need to say more? Ugly as fuck. God damn, that shit's hideous. Pop the hood. Stock engine. Oh, my bad. Colder intake. Shit, my bad, bro. My bad, my bad. That three horsepower is going to make all the difference, right? God, those taillights are so fucking hideous. They look better when they're turned on, but fuck, man. Some shit just shouldn't. It, it looks like an Ultima now. It literally looks like an Ultima, but some shit should never just be done. And that was one of them. What does this license plate say? Hella slow. We know. 
Yeah, we know. We could tell. You spent all your money on those taillights. <laughs> Roast my Z. What's up with you Z's and having fucking fucked up hood like, gaps? What, what, what's with this? Does Nissan not know how to put a car together? Like, there's a giant gap up there too. RPF1s, hopefully they're real. I mean, it's like the cheapest Japanese wheel you could buy. So hopefully they're real. Hopefully they're real. <laughs> It takes a special kind of moron to put a splitter under his splitter. I want to see people do that with their wings. Let's put two wings, two diffusers. Let's let's do it all. Uh, BC racing sticker. So he's on coilovers. Once again, not even like flush. Like his front. I can't even tell. What, what, like his tires don't match up. Does he have smaller wheels in the rear? Why does it look like it's leaning like that? It doesn't look right. Might be an illusion. White interior. Oh my God. What's with the white accents, dude? Like who here is making dumb decisions? Like what the fuck is going on? Guys, keep your fucking paws off of the spray paint. Just leave it alone. Why does every Z owner take a photo like this? They always do that shit. Like just show everything. It doesn't even look good on this car either. It's got headlight gap, hood gap, mix match paint. This one, you can't even see the fucking car. Well, that's great. The tree looks beautiful though. Great tree. The front end of this car just looks ridiculously heavy. The rest of the car looks bone stock. And then he's got like this fucking giant chin piece up here. Looks funky. Don't like it. All right, we'll do a couple more. I don't know how much more you guys can take. 2006 Mustang GT. My specialty right here. How the fuck do you curb the left side of your wheel? How does that even happen? Unless he did a rotation, but then why do you have squared wheels on a muscle car? More questions than answers, I think. Ah, spray painted the calipers red, eh? Yeah, they don't come like that. They, they ain't red from factory. They, you just showed how small your brakes actually are. I mean, those things are tiny. Those are giant wheels too, but those are fucking tiny ass brakes. I mean, why do you need all the braking anyways? You got what, 300 horsepower from factory with this cheap intake, probably not tuned, probably, uh, I don't know, bwop that down to a nice 250. Gotta have the strut tower brace though, bro. Gotta make sure that uh, engine is nice and secure. Don't want that thing popping out any time soon you know too much horsepower you know all right all right he claims it's tuned uh, so all right I'll, I'll go ahead and knock that 300 horsepower probably right back up to about a 270 so well we're we're back to stock and yet people still drive these things and smash into fucking people i don't know i don't know how they do it man it's 200 horsepower 270 wheel ridiculous rx8 we got another fool here hey eh? you went out and bought the wrong one you want the rx7 buddy not not this go-kart looking thing Rotary, bro. It's powered by Doritos, bro. Looks like he's on Odd Hans, I'm guessing. Yeah, he's on Odd Hans DS uh, 07s. Some fake three piece wheels. Oh, not a boy. Good job there. What's with people's ride heights being just ridiculous? Like they're just fucking stupid. Their rear. Look at that. Perfect ride height. Their front. What is that? What, what, what fucking curb are you going over with that? This photo really brings out the fake hardware in your wheels. It just really makes it pop, man. All right, last one. We got a Honda Civic. Sadly, not a Type R, but this guy, this guy's trying to make it look like a sports car. I mean, they probably tricked him into buying the SI model or something like that, saying that it's, you know, it's a sports car, man. It's, it, you know, Honda used to be good at racing and they, they tricked him into buying this shit. Let, let, let's take a look at it. Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. First thing that catches my eye here, you might think it's the wheels. You might think it's the little fucking anime Pikachu. No, no, it's the fucking Surikawa little grab handles in there. Already hate it. I already hate the fucking car, man. You're not drifting this thing around, man. It's front wheel drive. I'm not even going to harp on you for having a big wing on a front wheel drive car, but having a big wing on a modern day Honda Civic Sport, that's goofy enough. Sick blow off valve, bro. Sick. Now it goes. Sounds like a race car, bro. So what we got like an intake. Uh, you covered up the thing that says Earth Dreams. I'm I'm happy you did that. So you went with the red, you know, Honda kind of Type R paint to try to make it look like a Type R, but it doesn't. Like, if you're going to mod the Civic Sport like this, why not just buy the Type R? Why not just, you know, waste your money even more and just go buy that? Like, I mean, sure, you might have overheating issues, but then at least you'd be with the other Type R owners, you know, suffering, waiting on the side of the track. If you actually go um, for your car to cool down instead of racing. Oh, and to top it all off, it's not even manual. It's a CVT. My points are more valid. All right, we'll do just one more. Just one more. I'm having too much fun. This this is your car. This is this is yours. You're, you're taking credit for this. You're proud of this. Hey man, you, you, you do you, man. You got, you got some thick skin, hopefully. Because if I drove around a fucking Camry with chameleon green and blue headlight film and a sticker on it with some cheap ass wheels and everybody's looking at me, laughing at me, I'd feel like a fucking idiot. Oh God, this is your other car. Wow, off-road ride height, you know? At least, yeah, at least it's off-road, you know? And you got the neon green underneath to kind of like, you know, let everybody know, hey, I'm on my way, you know, I'm off road right here, you know, like, uh, look at me, like the like the Jeep guys do that too, you know, this is like a Jeep thing, you know, and then you got your little toe strap right here for when you get stuck off roading, makes sense, makes sense, um, cool man, cool little eclipse, yep, you know, that's a, 
uh, dog shit Fitman once again, you know, oh, Jesus Christ, man, this guy. People got too much time on their hands. You know, if you guys uh, spent your free time instead of taking photos of some piece of shit cars, you know, you're out there, you know, taking photos of this Camry and this bullshit fucking Eclipse right here. If you did something better, you know, maybe worked a side job, maybe like streamed, made some money, you could go and uh, sell these two. Just an idea. And uh, buy the car you actually want, because let's be real here. Nobody wants these. Nobody, nobody is out there chasing the bag for a Camry. Like nobody out there is like, oh, I'm reeling this in. You know, you don't see Lil Wayne talking about Camry, Camry, Camry. Oh, I'm happy in my Camry. He, he ain't saying that. The Eclipse, I'll give you the Eclipse. The Eclipse one, you know, this could potentially be a cool car. Maybe you just uh, bought it among some unfortunate mods that were already placed on it. The Camry, though, there's no excuse for that. There, this, this thing. No excuse for that. If I could take off your mods with Gooby gone, they ain't mods. At least it doesn't have a server call. Well, I would have fucking lost my mind. I'm going to look really quick. I don't see one. I don't see one. All right. You're, you're not as bad as the last guy, though. Okay. I would still take this over the Surikawa Honda Civic any day. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little subscriber roast. If you guys did, please let me know down below. I'm sorry if I went a little too hard. I'm just trying to entertain. Like I said, if you guys want to support the channel, pick up some merch link in description. Use discount code save guys. Go check out yesterday's video. If you have not seen it yet, it was so much fun. This car. Uh, it's a flamethrower. You guys just got to go see it. It is a flamethrower. It was fun being a menace to society. So check it out. Link in the description. Subscribe. Peace.